The State Anti-Fascist Council for the National Liberation of Croatia Serbo-Croatian, Zemaljsko Antifascistiko Vijetsa Narodnog Oslobodanja Hrvatski, often referred to by the acronym ZAVNOH, was the highest governing organ of the anti-fascist movement in Croatia during World War II. It was developed to be the bearer of Croatian statehood. At its last meeting, it changed its name to the People's Parliament of Croatia Narodni Sabor Hrvatski. Sessions Initiative Committee Preparations for the foundation of ZAVNOH started on December 5, 1942 when the Croatian representatives in AVNOJ requested the districtual boards to delegate members of the future initiative committee of the State Antifascist Council of National Liberation of Croatia. After the delegates were named the initiative committee was constituted in Ponor on March 1, 1943 near Koronika in Lika. First session Held June 13 in and June 14, 1943 on Plitvice Lakes was the founding session of ZAVNOH. Vladimir Nazor was chosen president. ZAVNOH adopted Proclamation to Peoples of Croatia, Proglas Narodima Hrvatski in Croatian and Resolution, often called Plitvice Resolution. Resolution stated that ZAVNOH was highest political authority of anti-fascist movement in Croatia. Executive Board. Izvrzni Odbor. In Croatian, ABBR. IOZAVNOH of 11 members was elected to perform duties of ZAVNOH between sessions. As the representative of the Allied Command Major William M. Jones Lawrence of Yugoslavia was present at the founding session. Also the representative of the Liberation Front of the Slovenian People, Jana Jernej was present. <inaudible> second session The second session was held October 12–15, 1943 in Plaski. In this session an executive board of 15 members was elected and the decision of executive board of ZAVNOH made on September 20, 1943 was confirmed. Ordinance about interior organization and work of ZAVNOH was adopted as well as the secretariat of ZAVNOH was founded, which ruled Croatian affairs as a de facto government. At the second and third sessions the equality of the Serbian and Croatian nations, as constituent nations of the Federal Unit of Croatia, was recognized in every aspect. Third session The third session occurred on May 8 and May 9, 1944 in Tapusco, and was sometimes referred to as the Sabor U Tapuskum, Assembly in Tapusco. The third session of ZAVNOH formally formed the Federal State of Croatia. Newly adopted, Rules of Conduct of ZAVNOH, disbanded IO Executive Board and formed 31-member Presidium of ZAVNOH. The following were established at this session. Authorization of Croatian delegates on the second AVNOJ meeting to represent Croatia. Proclamation of ZAVNOH as the supreme legislative and executive organ of government of federal state of Croatia Declaration of basic rights of peoples and citizens of the federal state of Croatia The Croat and Serb people in Croatia are equal in every way. The national minorities in Croatia will have guaranteed human rights. All citizens of Croatia are equal in the eyes of the law, regardless of their nationality, race and religion. Women have the same rights as men. Every citizen is guaranteed personal and property security. The right of ownership and private initiatives are guaranteed. Decision about structure and operations of news and assemblies in Federal State of Croatia Rules of conduct of ZAVNOH Fourth session The final session occurred on August 21, 1945 in Zagreb in building of Croatian Parliament. Here, the ZAVNOH renamed itself the National Parliament of Croatia.
Topic Z A V N O H between sessions. On September 20, 1943, the executive board of ZAVNOH issued a decision to return Istria, Zadar, Kress, Lestovo and other parts of Croatia which were ceded to Fascist Italy by Independent State of Croatia. ZAVNOH operated in the city of Šibenik from December 31, 1944 to May 13, 1945, before moving to Zagreb on May 20, 1945. The First People's Government of Croatia led by Vladimir Bukharic was founded at the extraordinary session of the presidency of ZAVNOH, which was held on April 14, 1945 in Split. <laughs> Constitution of Croatia on ZAVNOH The preamble, "...historical foundations." of the Constitution of the Republic of Croatia states The millennial national identity of the Croatian nation and the continuity of its statehood, confirmed by the course of its entire historical experience in various political forms and by the perpetuation and development of the state-building idea grounded in the historical right of the Croatian nation to full sovereignty, has manifested itself. In the establishment of the foundations of state sovereignty during the course of the Second World War, as expressed in the decision of the State Anti-Fascist Council of the National Liberation of Croatia 1943 in opposition to proclamation of the independent state of Croatia 1941, and then in the constitution of the People's Republic of Croatia 1947, and in all subsequent constitutions of the Socialist Republic of Croatia 1963 at the historic turning point characterized by by the rejection of the communist system and changes in the international order in Europe, in the first democratic elections 1990, the Croatian nation reaffirmed, by its freely expressed will, its millennial statehood. <inaudible> Presidency In May 1944, the ZAVNOH was led by a ten-member presidency Vladimir Nazor independent, poet, Andrea Hebrang KPJ Ivan Gozniak KPJ Franjo Gazi HSS Stepan Pravchik HSS Filip Lakus HSS Raid Pribichevich SDS Simo Error SDS Svetozar Ridig Catholic priest Andy Mandic independent <laughs> 